Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Green Family Legacy, where it is finally going to be little Amber Green's birthday! She is finally going to turn into a teenager. That has dragged out fairly long, if you ask me. Holy cow, I think she's been stuck at childhood for like well over a real life year or two, but I am so glad I am finally getting in the practice of at least being somewhat regular with the Green family. One day, my dream dreams of daily greens may actually come true but for now oh amber look at that for now today is going to be all about amber and then later this evening around five or six o'clock we are actually going to have tate and iris pop in temporarily we're going to be popping toby and great aunt allison who doesn't really like the crowds out of the household swapping tate and iris in we're going to be having iris bake her granddaughter a birthday cake and we're going to be having a grand time having this little one grow up but she is growing up with a mission my friends because Amber wants to become quite the well-known child. So I actually finally found where the scouting manual is, by the way. I know a bunch of you guys probably told me quite a while ago and I just missed it, but I remembered about it the other day and opened it up and found what happens is when it says you get the scouting manual and you get the scouting awards you don't actually get them in your inventory you unlock the ability to purchase them which kind of reminds me back when i was a girl scout troop leader that the kids could earn all the badges they wanted but it still had to be paid for uh, to get those little badges but you can find the scouting manual once you unlock it in the kids inventory inventory and it's the scout's guide on becoming a well-rounded sim from arts and crafts to civic responsibility fitness to science it teaches everything a young sim needs to go from griffin scout all the way up to llama corn scout plus it has all kinds of knots so amber's trying to kind of like finish this up by her birthday but i don't think she'll be able to however she really wants to put her mind to it because she would love to earn more scouting trophies that she might be able to use to get scholarships in the future so this is the blonde the blonde <laughs> this is the blonde scouting trophy <laughs> this is the bronze scouting trophy if you can't get gold, go for bronze. But you didn't skip silver. But didn't you skip silver, you ask? Yes, I did. This is why. Silver means you almost won gold, but didn't. Bronze means that you almost didn't win anything, but did. So at least you won something. So this is the bronze scouting trophy. We have unlocked it so we can actually purchase it now. So I bought it and shoved it over here. And you'll notice the, the living room has been uh, repainted. We're currently in the practice of redoing the entire household as we go room by room uh, but we popped it on some shelves that we installed over here this is amber scouting trophy i wish that it like noted that it was hers or there was some way to show off how many badges she has earned um somehow but there really isn't which is a bit of a pity however this is a girl who's a little addicted to success, achievement, and being recognized for those things, just like her mother. So she does want to try to get the next scouting trophy, which is unlocked at level four. Second is good, getting there. Granted, it depends on how many kids you have in your troop. If there's only two, it may not be as impressive, but it's still a second best trophy, right? And then there is also the gold scouting trophy, the highest award attained by a scout. Claiming such a majestic statue of metal could fill any majestic llama corn scout with pride you have reached the top ranks so i have a feeling this is going to be a girl who really likes to collect the trophies when she gets older and she might be angling for a few of the trophies that have to do with being a famous doctor or scientist which is what she wants to do with her life so we'll have to see how that works out uh, but all right, so that's kind of our goal for the day. Get Amber up in the scouts. Uh, and otherwise, gosh, suddenly everybody just wants to chat with her. Oh, otherwise, Devin is feeling extremely confident. And I think a little of that confidence is definitely, oh, she's spending the day with her daughter. Did you see how sweet that was? She Okay, Amber's like, mom, I'm focusing. And Fern's coming over. Hey, little sister, gonna have your birthday today, huh? All right, our book from Seed to Success has gained a little bit more in royalties. Griffin is very hungry. Griffin, for crying out loud, wake up and get your food then. There's eat tofu dog. There's food in the kitchen, darling. 
You don't need to go outside. Gosh, I swear. Like there's there's literally here, hang on. We're going to we're going to put this in his inventory cuz we're going to say that somebody took the baby who tends to wake up ridiculously hungry. Some french toast. All right, come on little guy. You getting like taken away on do not hit the ghost. You may not hit the ghost. He really I think is suspicious of ghost. There we go. All right, now that that's taken care of, I can put this back downstairs. Don't mind me. Oh my gosh, Pine, are you playing in the new... Okay, we also upgraded the bathroom, just so you know. It's got plants. It's got a little book that Devin can sit down and enjoy while sipping some tea. It's got fresh lavender sprigs and fresh flowers, a new rug. It's got some new, like, everything, new lighting to make the place a little bit brighter, new plants in every corner, a little closet corner. Yeah, we're starting to spend the money because uh, that's what money's for, isn't it, kids? Wisely, of course. Ah, Wisely. Sloopy. Yay! Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and put this one in our inventory. And then we're going to try to draw people. Maybe anatomy drawings. Oh, and I think this would be the point where... Fern, you may be grown up, but... Influence to... Skill building, do homework, group meal, school project, take out trash. Let's influence her to take out the trash as a way of like, darling, you need to wash the dog. He has gotten into the skunk bush again. Alright, and we'll see. Is that gonna... Oh, look at her! Now she's off to go wash the dog. And Fern is focusing. So Devin, you come over and resume writing a neighborhood unraveled, the thief next door. What the heck? <laughs> Amber can now gain piano and violin skills because she is a master of creativity in childhood, which is so cool. We'll have to see how that plays out when she becomes an adult. Uh, but she is drawing some people right now, which is really cool. She's super hungry, but she's also super focused. And everybody else, you all do your own things for the day, because it's Amber's special day. So I'm going to be focusing on her. Oh, what? Is her dad coming? What is her dad doing? Don't you dare! You do not walk in here. Wait. Play with Water Garden Dinzen. Click on the exotic water garden and click play. Oh, he wants to go play in the water garden because he's feeling playful. We haven't even stocked this thing yet. I didn't even know that was an option. That is so cool. He also wants to make a sack lunch for the kids, which is kind of ridiculously adorable. Um, Pine, if you're in a good mood and pretty much everybody is being taken care of, I want you to come over here and actually, we don't really need more money, to be honest. We've got a lot of money, but I want him to craft some garden planters because Allison wants to start putting some of the vegetables into tidy little planters and maybe even getting a scarecrow friend that she can visit with over here. Allison, meanwhile, you also need to work, lady, on mm, harvest all, perhaps. Yes. And then I need Allison to work on her gardening. So tend to the garden. She's so close to that level up. She just needs to get to level 10. And I think playing, did you get eaten by the cow plant, Toby? And that's why you're having a hard time. All right, give Toby a bath. There we go, back to Amber. All right, little whiz kid. When she ages up, we're, oh, when she ages up, we might actually have somebody with conflict resolution, responsibility and manners. That would be so cool. They, wait, I think, I think that actually happens when she turns into an adult, though. So, who is calling my ghost? Kiss and tell? <gasps> Aspen spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. He didn't He didn't catch anybody, but the other students were running away. Um, if Allison was told about this, maybe by Aspen when he comes home, I think she'd be like, aw, that's just kids being kids. Okay, so his emotional control has gone up, manners gone down. <laughs> that's so funny. All right, and actually I just realized I think that she's not going to gain these character values until she ages up, I think, uh, into an adult. So that's going to be interesting to see. All right, come on, Allison. Or uh, Amber, sorry, Amber. It's all the A names. All right, did we get it? Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. We can collect the badge if we got it. Arts and crafts badge. Not quite there yet, my dear. Go ahead and put that in your inventory. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to draw people. 
Pine, are you? Okay, Pine's taking care of things. Fern's taking care of things. I'm gonna have her collect the mail to kind of imply that she is, um, oh, and Griffin's doing good, that she's looking for maybe being able to get like a note about how her school acceptance may or may not have gone. All right, Allison, you go ahead and come on over, my dear. Oh, there's some perfect plants. Oh, this is so exciting. Yes, we've got even more perfect dragon fruits. Oh boy, oh, happy days. Oh, this is delightful. Oh me, oh my. We're gonna be rich. Look at the little dragon. Oh, the, the dragons. Oh, oh, can you imagine if you had like dragon fr fruit, dragon plant, cow plants? Like crossbreed your cow plants actually doing something big there. That would be so freaking cool. Uh, we need to take care of these guys. Tend the garden over here. And then... Oh, 111 dragon fruits because of the new ones I planted. That's a hundred freaking thousand some moles a time. Oh my gosh, we are. Why would you send your Sims to do anything else in life? Why would you? Why would you even pretend it's worth doing anything else? What am I gonna do with that money? I'm gonna have to use it wisely. Very wisely. Send the kids to really expensive schools. <laughs> Maybe buy a park. I was actually thinking when Tate passes away, uh, which is a little morbid because that's the grandpa, but he is going to pass away once we get aging going again. And I was thinking what I would really love to do is actually buy a big park and have it be the Green Family Legacy Park. And we can upgrade uh, the park pretty often and take care of, take care of things at the park. Uh, all right, keep going, buddy. Let's get like three garden planters. Four garden planters going, and why don't you go ahead? Ooh, a little dragon sculpture. You know what? We were just talking about the dragon sculpture, so why don't we get a couple dragons and a couple bunny sculptures going, just to keep him busy for a minute? Uh, and then I'm gonna check on her. All right, come on, Amber. It's gonna be the afternoon pretty soon, and then oh, she needs to eat. Poor thing. She's been so focused trying to get this done. Fern has collected everything from the mailbox. Anything? There was Chompy the monster. Oh, these are for her mother. Oh, geez, the, the, the computer broke. No, that was that was my like I needed those. Uh, that was so we could write our book. All right, so these are actually for her mother. This is fun serum. Ugh. It boosts your skill gain and it makes you have fun. This one is the hygienic that removes any lingering stench effect and boosts your skill, which is pretty cool. And then Chompy the monster, who I'm not even sure why we got Chompy, but we got Chompy the monster. <laughs> all right. Forget all of this nonsense, Pine. I need you to come and you know what? Forget fixing this computer. I really think that actually, I really think that she would be like, this old hunk of junk, I'm just going to go ahead and buy myself a new one. We've got the funds. I am going to be running a business after all. We should give her a really cute laptop so that she can take her laptop wherever she goes. Oh, that's so adorable. Let's give her a green one because her whole business is about green things. Um, and that's eight, seven, and it's better than the normal laptop. Uh, it is not as good as the ghostwriting disappearing laptop. Hmm. That would be really cool if we had that one. I think we'll buy one for her to have in her inventory. <laughs> and we'll have the ghostwriting laptop over here. We've got the money for it. We're f like freaking rich now. <gasps> we should get another laptop. That's what we're gonna give. Oh my gosh. We'll get a cute little pink laptop because despite everything that you know despite how she can kind of be like i only like science amber like loves pink things you can love pink things and science at the same time that's totally fine uh let's grab that ghost writing laptop though oh, i've never bought this before we're so freaking rich i actually don't really like the green keyboard though <laughs> Uh, that's the least offensive of the ones. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Oh, wow. Resume writing. 
A neighborhood unraveled. A thief next door. Oh my gosh. All right, Amber. Are you almost done? Hurry, little one. You're gonna have your birthday this evening. I don't think we're gonna be able to get as many badges as this poor girl wanted. Scout badge earned! What? Just as I said that. Apparently when we get the scouting manual, it lets you know. All right, let's gather another scout badge. Amber's like, done. All right. Let's go ahead and see what else I can do. Oh, yeah. Yes. She's so cute. Oh. She's very hungry. Was that enough to get us view badge progress to the next level? I don't think that was enough to get us to the next level, unfortunately. She really wants more than a bronze trophy. Like, a bronze trophy isn't even worth, like, writing home about, in her opinion. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So she needs one more trophy. If she does a good deed, like entertaining a toddler, making someone laugh, taking out the trash, she can actually get another, um, another point. If she gives back by donating, she can get some points. Let's try, let's try that out after she has a meal. So we're going to let her eat for, don't eat. Don't eat the ice cream. Grab the nice fresh French toast that your dad made. And then I think that we're actually going to let uh, Fern take Toby on a walk, too. Because she has been so desperate to just get out more often. In fact, I think she's feeling so perky. We're Yeah, well, we're going to go on just a walk. I was going to have her go on a jog, but it's kind of an overcast day for that. Oh, feel the love! Feel the love with our puppers! I have been meaning for these two to be able to have a better relationship for ages now. I love how everybody is eating everywhere. I think it's ever since I... No, everyone's eating at the table, too. There you go, guys. Devin, where are you? Oh, she's already back over working on her book. All right. Entertain a toddler, huh? We can probably do that. Maybe we can even eat lunch and entertain a toddler at the same time. Let's call our little brother down. There we go. So we'll try to call him down. Now he he still wants to hit Allison. He is so naughty. Like the pretty much the only person he ever wants to hit is Allison. Oh gosh, and we really need to fix the dog's outfit. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that he still wants to just like hit Allison. She is a ghost. How is that even going to work? All right. There. These poor kids, they get stuck. Oh, wait, Allison, where are you going? Okay, I guess you need to eat. But you also need to, like, level up. <laughs> Can you please do research on these and, like, level up that skill already? There we go. How much do we have in dragon fruit now? <gasps> 70,000 in dragon fruit! <gasps> oh, this is so freaking broken! What do I do with all this? I've got to sit on that and have a think. Because that's broken. What am I even... We're going to have to figure out some way to like... Should Aspen... Oh, Aspen has his new friend Kengo coming over. And he's a C student now. That's fantastic. I do still think I want to put him in a special school. I don't want him to stay... Didn't we invite Kengo over? Yeah, there he is. Let's play with him. Funny. Let's invite in. Maybe for the birthday party. And friendly, ask for typing tips, maybe. Okay. Where's the toddler? There he is! Entertain a toddler, huh? Funny, tell a goofy story. Maybe we can pull this off after all. Friendly, bright day. Is this how you can get the point? Let's see. Keeping our little brother entertained. <gasps> it is! Oh my gosh! And they haven't really bonded, so this is perfect. Yes! Okay. This is so cute. I mean, yes, she wants the badge, but I am hoping that Amber, in the pursuit of trophies and shiny things, <laughs> will learn how to also pursue being kind to people as well. Holy cow! We're, we're getting there. Let's tell a goofy... Well, actually, forget the goofy story. He seemed to really love the funny face. Let's do another funny face. That's so cool. I think we're going to be able to snag, like, one last badge at the, at the last minute. Oh, we just managed to get the badge! That's so fun! Aw! Let's
Let's go ahead and hug lovingly. We really haven't developed much of a relationship with our littlest brother. Uh, we're going to grab the good deeds badge and see if that actually scores us the last medal. Just in time for her birthday party, by the way. All right, Amber, we're not going to drag our feet anymore on this. It's been long enough. Uh, I am not going to to sit and... Oh, oh, her little brother tried to crawl in her lap. That was so cute. All right. No, no, Pine, stop that. Pine, Allison's fine. Pine, you need to read a book from the library. Well, you have a personal library. Make a sack lunch. She's so cute. Here, fine. Why don't you come over here and pack that into a sack lunch? Keep yourself busy. All right, Amber, is this going to get you the silver? Is it going to score you right in the last, like, 15 minutes? <gasps> A Pegasus Scout! Amber has been promoted to Pegasus Scout. She has received the following bonus, the Silver Scouting Trophy. I don't think she's going to be able to snag the final scouting badge um, at the moment. We, I really thought she would try to leave the scouts behind when she aged up. Uh, you know, she's going to be a teen. She's not going to have time for this. But if giving back, keeping fit, and outdoor adventure badges are able to happen, maybe she'll keep it quiet because I have a feeling the new private school she's going to be going to, it would kind of be like a tease thing to be part of the Llama Scouts. But if she could perhaps get a, some sort of, um, you know, fame from it, I do think that she would appreciate that quite a bit. Does she have any fame? No, I think, I thought for some reason, like, collecting badges gave you, it does give you a tiny bit of fame. Uh, but she just has three badges left to collect. She's out of time on the badges, but she has silver medal. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's grab that for her. We're going to have to put it, it doesn't go in inventories, unfortunately. So we'll have to put it down in the basement and just know that it belongs to her. And I might actually let her keep the silver medal uh, when she goes to the new private school that's gonna be uh, gonna be happening. But all right, I'm going to actually swap out the puppers and I'm going to swap out the wonderful Allison, our family ghost. And we're going to, um, we're, we're actually, I, apparently our friend Kingo can actually see the ghost. And I think he is a little suspicious a little suspicious about this event so holy days he's like wait a second i think this farm is haunted oh this might actually be a great chance for aspen to finally have a friend outside the family that would be really cool but all right i'm gonna bring in the grandparents bake a cake and we're going to have amber grow up into a teenager Oh, there we go. Here it is, you guys. All right, Grandma Iris and Grandpa Tate have come on over and we are having a little birthday party. Not a terribly busy one because Amber actually wants to be really focused. Who is she talking to? Chat with Genji? Who's Genji? Where did he come from? Oh my gosh. Oh, and actually, what we need to do is invite over, over Cousin Belle, too. I just remembered we're going to add some birthday candles really quickly. In fact, let's go ahead and have Iris do that so nobody takes any of the cake pieces. Let's tidy up the kitchen a little bit. Get ready. Let's move the high chair in just a second here. There we go. In fact, I really, I don't like using the high chairs, so I'm gonna move the high chair out of the way. And then we need to help to blow out candles, not for Griffin. We're going to age up a sim. Uh, and we're actually gonna call over some of the family. So let me actually host a really quick new club, uh, Greener Days. <laughs> so happy when people when I make little clubs like this okay apparently Amber is the leader of the greener days club <laughs> which it is her birthday so that seems pretty fitting so let me go ahead and bring over some of our other family members who are not here let's call oh oh yeah Ash I don't think they could make it but Zoe Bell uh I want to have Bell grow up at the same time let's have that happen so Zoe and Bell where is Lily? So we need to find Aunt Lily. Where is our Aunt Lily? Lily. That's the wrong Lily. Where's our Aunt Lily? Huh. Lily? 
She should be greener ways corp. We could temporarily. Uh, there's Zoe. There's Holly. Hmm, there's called Let. There's Lily. Okay. I'll grab these ones over here. I don't think we have little Belle over at the moment, but we can grab this group of the family. We can start a gathering so that they can show up and at least just be here for the birthday party. Um, and then I guess we can go ahead and we'll invite Belle over. So where's Cousin Belle? Uh, send playful text. How do we get Cousin Belle to come and travel to visit us? That's a good question. Cousin Belle! I, like, what if I... If I click on other sims, I can invite to hang over. Belle, are you around? Is she just, like, wandering past right now? Belle? There's Philip. There's a whole bunch of kids, actually, wandering around here. Uh, oh! There's the troop leader! That is so cool. I guess once you get llama scouts, just random sims... <gasps> Belle! Hey! Let's grab her! Call over! Call over! Oh my gosh. How do we... Okay, let's let's snag her. Can I grab Belle? And like, can I add her actions? Add to group! Yes! Okay, we have grabbed Belle. She's in my group. Holy days! Grandpa Tate has already finished building something. Let's go here together. And we should be able to make this happen. And Grandma Iris, will you please go ahead and make another cake? Just in case we actually need a second cake for our birthday girls. We're gonna make this happen! Also, Tate, how did you build that so fast? I, I He is one of the Sims who knows how to make, oh, is it in his inventory? Knows how to make the little campground sculpture. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, there it is! A normal campground sculpture, value 750. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> Oh, let's have him actually try to sculpt something uh, for his granddaughter. Since, let's have him craft a sculpture. Maybe, I think that he would think that that little, little Amber would like a bunny sculpture. So we're going to have him craft a bunny sculpture. Alright, we should be able to make this all work. And Grandma Iris is baking another cake. This is actually a pretend fridge, so my Sims can store things in it. It looks like a bunch of potatoes uh, in a barrel, but it actually is a fridge. So sometimes I get those really hilarious moments where they're just plucking things out of the fridge. Uh, you need to stay up, lady. Oh, geez. Let's clean up the house. Oh, Holly! Hey! It's gonna be like, okay, let's maybe ask about career would be like the first thing that she would do because Holly is a famous violinist. Let's brighten her day. Let's spend some time with Holly. Um, let's see. Maybe discuss color theory. There we go. And then Amber. Do you have to go all the way over there, my dear? Why? Why? If I say go here together, why? Oh my gosh. All right, well, we're gonna see if I can get the, the group together. I wanna see if the family can start hanging out a little bit more. Um, Let's see, Grandpa Tate, you just finished making a bunny sculpture? It says? Maybe? Where's the bunny sculpture, Tate? For your granddaughter, oh, over here. Aw, it's an excellent bunny sculpture. All right, we'll, we'll try giving that to our granddaughter and just see how it goes. Uh, and while we're at it, I'm going to have him maybe craft up like a elephant and craft a dragon just for the other kids too. All right, you need to chat. Funny joke about fashion. Friendly. Ask about favorite author. Aha! We have a second cake! Good job, Iris! Don't you dare eat from that cow plant. We're gonna... Okay, actually, now that we have one of the girls in a group, can we actually come over here and age up Sim? We can! Let's get Belle aged up first. Maybe that'll work. Is she on the move? She is not on the move yet. Let's see if we can make this happen. Hey, Belle! Please come back home now, ladies. 
Okay, there we go. Oh, and Belle's saying the chair is in the way. Okay, I think we can do this. I'm so excited. Sorry that it's taking so long. This is the traditional way of all Sims families, I feel. When you try to do one simple birthday party, it becomes a huge hubba baloo for everybody. So let's actually come over. Let's celebrate. Let's age up Sim. Uh, in fact, let's put everybody in a group. That's what I need to do. Okay. We're going to have grandma lead the group. We're going to go ahead. Actions. Add to group. I'm remembering how to do this now. Do not cry. Don't you dare. This is your daughter's birthday. Action. Add to group. Where's Devin? Uh, action. Uh, we can't add to group. Form group. Oh! Nifty! I can grab all of the, the others and boom, just like that. I'm learning new things. Age up Sim Bell. Okay, where are you, Bell? Grandma? That's fine. Hopefully this will work. Everybody come over and celebrate, please. Maybe this will work. And then maybe if I have... Let's come celebrate. Amber, are you working your way over? Don't chat. You guys need to go back to the house. Like, you need, you two need to actually come over to the house. <laughs> ah, Sim's birthdays! That's what I get for trying to make it so that it could be something special. I don't think we can age up Belle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. She's joining us. She's joining us. There's hope! Hang in there, friends! Iris, do not eat that cake. You need to behave yourself. You can feed the cow plants, but you may not eat from them, okay? All right, come on. Come on, everybody. Oh my gosh. Ah! That's it. Next time I am taking away all of your free will, we're going to we're going to come over. We are going to like uh, make a wish. We're just going to make a wish. There we go. Amber, let's do it, honey. Who cares how this is going to go down? We're just going to have the group together. We're going to... There you go. All right. In the typical way of Sims birthdays, this is how it's going down, guys. Only half the group is here. Half the group is in their PJs. We're going to hopefully come and somewhat celebrate... Little Amber's birthday! And she is like, look, I know what the essence of this event should be, and it's me aging up. So, no point in waiting. Amber! Holy cow! She actually aged up! It's been so long! Teen dumb. Romantic tra uh, travails, sweaty gym shorts, and hormonal upheavals await. Best buckle those boots. The ride starts here. Okay, uh, we are definitely going to give her knowledge. I'm going to give her uh, maybe nerd brain, renaissance sim. She'd probably be nerd brain. And we actually get to pick a new trait for her. So I'm actually going to randomize her trait really quickly and see what she would pick randomly. And then we'll see if that fits her or not. Oh my gosh, it kind of fits her. Self-absorbed. <laughs> These sims are all about themselves. They can fish for compliments, are more excited when receiving a present, and may be tense when they haven't gotten enough attention. And I think she's been such a brainiac in the family for so long, that actually kind of fits her. So we're gonna go for it. Also, what? Amber! Oh my gosh. Give me a second, guys. Amber! You're all grown up! Oh my gosh! I can't believe this, you guys. This is our little Amber, all ready to head out on her big adventures. However, I, I feel a little conflicted. I'm not gonna lie. I think that because of the way the game is coded, I have uh, unintentionally added some extra curves to Amber, and that is completely something that is fine. You guys know from the way I love Iris and the way I love my other Sims that I'm totally fine with having bigger Sims, but I just really want Amber to still feel like she's super young and in that preteen stage and I feel like she just changed her body shape so quickly that I, I'm having a hard time connecting with her. So after careful consideration, I'm going to do something I have never done before. Dun 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 dun! 
And we're going to try the Instaline. I want to see what happens if we get the Instaline. Saying that we have uh, had a potion that Amber's tried out left over from the little potion sets that she had as a kid. And we're going to see what happens because I have actually never used this before. And I'm really curious and I think... I think Amber's curves, which are not in any way bad, are also a result of having kept her as a kid for so long. So I just want to see what happens. Because this is actually a good opportunity for me to try this out. Of course she's going to stand in the hallway where it's going to be difficult to see this work. But I just really want her to feel like the little preteen kid and not physically change too quickly. So she was at actually max fat. Oh. And now, ah! <laughs> and now she's at max thin. Oh my gosh. Uh, huh. uh, that's not quite what I had in mind, but it helps me kind of connect with her a little bit more because I feel like she went from little short amber to just taller amber. Um, my goodness gracious. And this, this living, what are you guys doing to your library? I just can't believe how filthy this is. But there she is. Oh my goodness. She definitely has her, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Amber, sweetie, you're all grown up. I am so excited. Wow. Okay. And let's hurry. And we need to age up Sim. Belle, get back over here, Belle. Can we, can we age up our cousin in these final moments? Can this happen? I don't think it's going to be able to happen. Amber's very happy. Well, that's cool. But see, she looks more like the gawky preteen to me now, which I'm very grateful for. I, I, I mean, curves are fine. Go eat some cake. Go eat your birthday cake. Uh, are you hungry though? She's not really hungry. Where is Belle? Belle? Okay, guys. I don't think that we're going to be able to age up Belle, unfortunately. Wait, wait, wait. Here she comes. Nope. Belle's like, I've got some other plans in mind. Thanks, but no thanks. So, okay. There we go. I'm going to call it. We're not going to be able to age up Belle. What a chaotic birthday. But we have our little, uh scientist city girl ready for her next stage of life so i'm pretty excited about where her journeys will go and that was kind of cool i've never used that potion before and now i know so huh all right well the family's kind of a mess the baby is starving everything is chaotic that birthday went terribly unsmooth i will have to try to prepare better for the next birthday which is actually going to be fern's birthday fern is actually going to be turning into a young adult on saturday so or on friday excuse me and we have a wedding on saturday oh dear me there's just so much going on just so much happening but all right guys thank you so much for joining me if you could do please leave a like to celebrate little amber's birthday and if you would like to continue watching over this family tree as it begins to grow and go in new directions do please consider subscribing and i will see you guys next time Bye bye